A terrific Tuesday to you and welcome to Joy News Interactive. Coming to you live from digital address GA0992539 in Kokomimli, Accra. On DSTV channel 421, Go TV channel 144, and our phone lines will be open 03022. 11691 03022-11692. Join in the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram as Joy News on TV. We are on, on WhatsApp as 055-815-7074. I'm Selina Ampo. And I am Mapito CBD. Okay, so we, we are, we're starting with our first story. When you're thinking of getting a new home, do you buy land or do you just um, build a house? And well, almost everything seems sorted out when you're buying a house. But the stress of building, you need to get a land, you need to buy cement, you need to buy stones, bricks, and all those other things. And you know, that is what prevents so many people from buying land to even start to build. You know, so people just feel like they need to just buy a house and then live in it. But getting a land has become increasingly difficult in Accra especially. Now the question we've put on Facebook to ask people that um, would you, what are some of the things you look out for when you are trying to buy a land? And we'll take some comments and we'll read them to you. Keep all your comments coming on all our social media platforms. Just join news on TV, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we have some comments right there. We have Yabua Solomon who says the rightful family, proper documentations and location of the said land. Hmm, that's a comment from Yabua Solomon. And we have Kudus Al Hassan who says, I will first and foremost check whatever it is, whatever it is, a flooding prone area, aside that some areas are earthquake prone areas. So I will check that one too. If I'm free from those things, then I would go ahead and buy. Those are some... Now, there are a few tips when buying land. The first one is that you need to understand your location. Yeah. What are you buying for? Are you buying to rent out? Are you buying for a business? Are you buying for a home? Or are you buying for a farm? I mean, you can't come to Cantonment or Northridge and say that, okay, listen, I want this land so I can start mm -hmm. farming. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to understand your location when buying land. The second thing is that know your budget. If you don't know your budget, you can't know where to get the land. I mean, mm. you can't have like cantonment dreams but you only have like Nima budget it doesn't work like that you know <laughs> and then the third one is that who is the owner who was the owner who was the owner before then because you don't want to end up in a situation where you bought the land you've given the person the money and then some old man out of nowhere comes in to say that this is my land and what are you doing here and then now you are forced on getting lawyers to settle the whole thing so go to the Ghana Land Commission and find out who was the owner who is the owner am I dealing with the right person after that you can you know start building your land start building your place and happy building and happy living Max before we move on to our next story I just want to um, find out would you buy or build it, that's a tricky one. Would I buy or build? Mm -hmm. I think here in Ghana, I would buy. Why would you buy? It's just easier. It's, really? It's, it's, it, for me, I think it's but easier. But don't you think um, building is a much more, is a better investment? Building is a much better investment, but that's why I said here in Ghana, I'd rather just buy. Well, that's just by the way. Yeah. I think I'll build. Maybe you would buy, I'll build. Uh, but let's move on to our Tuesday thoughts. And we have some, you know, today's Tuesday, and we have some people telling us what they're thinking about on Twitter. So we'll read some tweets for you. Now, Selena, what's on your mind today? What, what are your Tuesday thoughts? Well, Tuesday, I, I've been thinking about chocolate. Really? <laughs> yes. Really? Chocolates, yes. I, I think... For Tuesday. <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about the festive season, mm. you know, what am well, I doing for Christmas, am I ready? Do you have money? Do I have money? You I know, on social essential. media, something has been going around that mm -hmm. it's December, but the question is, do you have money? 
Mm. That is the question. Do you have money? It's festive season. You want to rejoice, but are your pockets allowing you to rejoice? So let's take some thoughts on Tuesday. And we have, um, when I hear somebody say life is hard, I'm always tempted to ask, compared to what? Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. Hashtag Tuesday motivation. It's a very cute image of a baby. And we have Atriti Avni who says, laughter is timeless. Imagination has no age and dreams are forever. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. We also have Zupta who says, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. 100% with a love emoji, a heart emoji, and hashtag Tuesday thoughts. Coach Jasper says, new day, new opportunities, new grace, make this day worthwhile. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. We also have different Ye who says we are all we all are bad in someone's story. If you must succeed, don't let someone's distorted account of you shape who you become. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. The opinion which other people have of have on you is their problem, not yours. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. This is coming from Life O. And Calvin says, your attitude can turn a life blow into a life lesson. And there's a quote from Calvin, Ojenyi, hashtag Tuesday thoughts, hashtag life, hashtag success train, hashtag wisdom. And Y says, when a kid grows up, pencil is replaced by pen, just to make him realize that now it is difficult to erase a mistake. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. And we have one coming from Renu who says, words can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Choose them wisely. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. We'll be back shortly after this break. Welcome back from the breather. You're still watching Joanie's Interactive. Now, with only 14 days until Christmas, mm -hmm. you've already planned your vacation, where you're going, how much you're spending. But, you know, for the late planners and just the up-to-the-minute people, we've got some tips and, uh, you know, some interesting facts and things you can do for Christmas. But before we do that, we're asking you, Whose responsibility is it to promote Ghanaian tourist sites? Is it the government, the citizens, musicians? Whose responsibility is it? I mean, it's our Ghana, so we should all promote it. Selenam, what are people saying well, on, on Facebook? We, we'll take some comments from Facebook. And on Facebook, uh, just keep your comments coming. Whose responsibility is it to take care of the tourist sites or the the t tourism in general in Ghana, whose responsibility it, is it? Um, we'll take our very first comment. We have Dofios who says, we need to hold governments responsible. We vote them to represent us in all categories. That's from Dofio. And Yabwa Solomon says, this is obvious because we have a full ministry responsible for tourism, arts and culture. So the onus lies on that ministry. Bafwa Ewa Udonko says, everyone's responsibility. And we have Ernest coming with a reply who says, why then are they paying someone as a tourism minister? Interesting question from Ernest. Prisla Ruth says, minister of tourism. And Felix says, why do we ministry why do we ministry for why do the ministry of for tourism and paying them without promoting the good we have we have a long beach along eastern southern and western beaches upgrade beaches build more hotels and entertainment centers at the beaches and lease them to Ghanaians. it's a major field of job creation and let those pictures be online for viewers 
that's the way to sell. So keep all your comments coming on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's Joy News on TV. Well, before rushing off to Abrotree, you know, uh, I think you can check out some of our tour sites in Ghana. And we have the Elmina Castle, we have the village. Um, so, have you been to the Elmina well, Castle? Well, I haven't been to the Elmina Castle. Mm -hmm. I've been to um, the James Fort, okay. but I've not been to the Elmina Castle. All but right. you know that it, it's, it was built in the 1480s? Mm -hmm. Yes, 1480s. And it's still the oldest European building below the Sahara. So I'm looking forward to visiting that place sometime. I hope I will not be scared to enter the dungeons and things like that, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> and we also have the village of Inzulenzu. And Inzul I've always dreamed of going to Inzulenzu. I like places with water, so I feel like it's going to feel like home if I go there. And Inzulenzu is a very significant town to tourism in Ghana. And you know, it's on Thursdays, surprisingly, it's their sacred day. So on Thursdays, no boat services, you stay indoors. And this is going to be weird, but I'm looking forward to go there and see how a Thursday in Nzulenzu would be like. And we also have the Kakum National Park. Kakum, I have walked on. Mm -hmm. um, over, it has over seven bridges, and the bridges go high up as 100 meters in the sky, you know, if you're afraid of heights, I don't think it's the right place for you, but I'm not afraid, so I would love to go there over and over again, yeah, I so think those are tall sites, we have very some interesting. of them. Uh, place here, yeah. coming to uh, Kakum Max, National have you been Park. there before? Yeah, I have. I have. I went there last time in 2013. Wow. Yeah, I was there in 2013. And I went with my mom and my nephew. So my mom was like very scared. And my nephew at that time was like seven years old. And he was just like, oh, let's go. It's fine. Don't worry. I'll hold your hand. And it was a very <laughs> interesting time. But were you afraid? Were you I afraid? wasn't afraid. I'm, I'm an adventurous uh, person. So anything that has to do with adventure and adrenaline, mm. I'm all for it. That's so, good. That's and I good. remember on social media there was a video that trended of a tourist who was crying and begging to be taken back because she was like she can't do that she's afraid of heights and like you know she regrets and she was on the third bridge and I'm thinking okay so you went to the first the second the third bridge and she decided you know what I, I can't, can't go do again this. yeah <laughs> and so that bridge really trended on social media well as much as we are trying to encourage people to take tourism seriously and visit our tour sites we we need to give them some tips on traveling and you know the number one thing you need to do when you're traveling is you check for your visa requirement and imagine how awkward it will be when you get to a border security check and then you realize that you don't meet you haven't met the necessary visa requirements so with some countries you'll be lucky that you can apply when you get there but with others uh, you, your luck may run out so to avoid all the embarrassments you need to check your visa requirements before traveling also traveling is about money 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 mm -hmm. let your bank know that you're traveling you don't want to get to the airport you don't have money you get there you get to the bank you're like okay i need to pay for a taxi to go home mm -hmm. you withdraw some money you go to the bank it withdraws you pay your taxi driver, you go back to the hotel. The next day you're thinking, okay, I need more money. You go to the bank and your card is blocked. You're in a foreign country. What are you doing? You don't have money. So what do you do? Let your bank know that you're traveling so they don't think it's some fraud star trying to get your money. Because I mean, even if you call them and tell them that it's you, they won't believe you for security reasons. So let your bank know that you are traveling. Mm. You also need to get some vaccines before traveling. You know that in some countries, like the United States, some diseases are rare, like yellow fever. So to prevent yourself from getting um, any disease or any infections, you should get vaccinated before you travel. Check when your passport is expiring. Most countries won't allow you if you're getting to the country six, uh, six months before your passport expires. And how awkward would it be? You get to the border, security border, and they're like, I'm sorry, madam, you have to go back because your passport is about to expire. So check that. It might be obvious, but a lot of people tend to forget that. 
So we'll be bringing you more Gemini travel tips along before we get to Christmas so you can prepare yourself, you know? Yeah. And on that note, we're going to take our video of the day. Throw it! <laughs> Oh no! It's okay. You're strong. Do you want to carry? All right. Here, Freely. Now I'm gonna carry you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, how cute is that? You know, a brother's love is like yeah. the first love you get, mm -hmm. you know, your father and then your brother. So if your brother treats you right, I mean, you know how brothers are so overprotective. Unfortunately some, for some me, brothers are some, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I don't have any brothers, but you I know, do. Really? How yeah. many? One, just one big brother. You see, at least you've got that that, that guy. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 I'm the last born, and my older sibling is a sister, so we're there together. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, we are wrapping up on the show and I'm Selina Ampo. I am Apisa CBD. Remember, you can go to our Facebook page for all the JNI travel tips. Also, to keep the conversation going on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are Joe News on TV.